Hello, welcome to the first in a series of presentations intended to familiarize you with the new Citation 10. I'm Jeff Johansmeyer, Project Engineer for the Citation 10 program. Each of these sessions will cover a different aspect of the differences between the Citation 10 that's currently in service and the new Citation 10 that's under development. Today I'll be talking about changes made to the airframe, interior, and power plant. After years of outstanding service in which the name 10 has become synonymous with speed and performance, it was decided that the 10 should be refreshed and upgraded to enhance its abilities even further. As is befitting our flagship model, this was no ordinary block point upgrade. We've touched nearly every system on the airplane, making improvements in performance, reliability, and comfort. We've stretched the fuselage to add space in the passenger cabin, we've upgraded the avionics, and have incorporated changes to improve maintainability and reliability. And of course, we can't forget the upgrade to the 10's most noteworthy feature, speed. More powerful engines ensure the 10 remains the fastest business jet in the sky. First, let's talk about changes to the airframe. Major changes are the stretched cabin and reinforced tail cone structure. We'll also talk about corrosion resistance improvements to the wing access panels. Also, the STC winglets have been added as a standard production component to enhance hot and high takeoff performance and cruise efficiency. The added fuselage length is located just after the cabin door. We've installed one new frame and stretched the skins and stringers to match, but the window count and spacing is unchanged. The geometry of the forward fairing was revised to optimize aerodynamics around the stretch area. A side effect of this was a thinner fairing, uh, particularly around the cabin spade door, which required a redesign to that spade door mechanism. The design concept remains the same, and we've just repackaged the mechanism to fit inside the new loft contour. The new 10 fits essentially in the same footprint as the original airplane. Making the winglet standard adds a little over five and a half feet to the wingspan, but it's the same as an original 10 that's had that winglet STC incorporated. The cabin stretch adds 15 inches to overall length, and the height remains unchanged. Because the new airplane goes faster than before, the loads on the tail cone and aft cabin have increased enough to require a fairly significant redesign. Over 500 detail parts have been added or strengthened. These changes won't be immediately noticeable because we've maintained the same design concept and layout as before. We've just added extra clips and ties and have beefed up the internal components to handle those increased loads. We've made a significant improvement to the corrosion resistance of the airplane with the new wing access panel door design. The new 10 takes everything we've learned from years of field history and the recent service campaign and adds a few new improvements. The key remains the combination of the Y-seal gasket between the inner and outer doors uh, and, and the wing skin. With the new 10, we've added an improved process for applying the precipitation statics paint, uh, where the entire inner surface of the outer door will now be coated with paint. What this does is ensure that there's no edges where chipping can start, and that improves the durability and integrity of the electrical bond. Now moving on to propulsion updates. The new Citation 10 gets a new generation of the Rolls-Royce AE3007 engine, the C2 version, which features more power and better efficiency. We've also upgraded the Fadex and installed new, larger engine inlets. In a little more detail, the new C2 engine puts out between 4 and 9% more thrust, depending on the flight condition and power setting. At the same time, the new engine's actually more fuel efficient than before, which means greater range while burning the same amount of fuel. To achieve this, the engine has new, larger, high-flow fan blades and redesigned bypass vanes. There's actually fewer blades than before, but you can see in the picture that they're actually quite a bit larger and more contoured than the original fan blades. The engine inlets were enlarged by one inch in diameter, which was done to accommodate the extra air flowing through this more powerful engine. A key maintainability improvement is the new universal aft mount ring for the aft engine mount, uh, shown in orange in the picture which makes it possible to install an engine on either side of the airplane without having to do modifications to the attachment fittings. The FADEX have been upgraded to interface with our new auto throttle, and we've also removed a couple of switches in the cockpit to streamline operation. The APU is unchanged, but the controls have actually been simplified down to a single stop, run, start switch that's located on the center pedestal near the main engine controls. 
Moving on now to interiors. The interior is completely restyled in the new Citation 10 with a much more modern and upscale feel. We have a new passenger seat with retractable armrests, which gives a much more spacious feel in the aisle. And we've rerouted the environmental ducting for better maintainability and improved airflow, which helps the cabin cool better. The clean lines of the new interior flow directly into the cockpit, which has been redesigned with the most modern and stylish flight deck ever in a Citation. In addition to the new cabin styling, we've also made a number of reliability and maintainability improvements that aren't quite as visible. Electrical grounding and access to electrical components has always been a source of frustration, so we've gone and added easily accessible, common electrical grounds in the cabin. Lighting is now all LED, with long life bulbs and minimal maintenance. Uh, those new seats are actually attached with quick release pins, which significantly reduces the amount of time to remove and replace the seats. We have improved electric window shades, which are based on the ones in the CJ4. Those offer improved reliability and have a fairly unique three-stage operation. They can be fully open, uh, partially closed, which makes them opaque but still offers light, uh, lets light come through, or they can be set to full blackout. The extra 15 inches of interior length have been distributed throughout the cabin to improve comfort and storage. Most of the extra space is in the forward club between the two front seat pairs. There is now enough legroom for everybody to stretch their legs out, and the work table is now big enough for two people to use laptops comfortably at the same time. More space between the two clubs' seat backs gives more room to recline those seats together and also lets us install extra storage cabinetry down at the floor level. The stylish new interior wouldn't be complete without a modern cabin management system. Cessna's partnered with Heads Up Technology to develop Clarity. It's a complete cabin management solution that runs off of a fiber optic data backbone, which distributes en entertainment and data throughout the interior. Each seat has a touchscreen interface shown on the left, uh, with ha which has access to the light lighting and window controls, uh, gives video display and wireless audio. There are iPad and iPod interfaces to plug in your mobile device, and even seat-to-seat -seat texting functions that let you carry on a private conversation between seats. Like the cabin, the cockpit has been restyled for a clean and modern appearance that's also highly functional. For the first time on a Citation, we have an overhead panel uh, where all the lighting controls are now located. This has allowed us to logically group the switches and free up space on the center pedestal. Crew oxygen masks are now located in the side consoles uh, in 680 style boxes, and the parking brake control at the back end of the pedestal has been significantly restyled with this ergonomic grip that you see here, replacing the old exposed T-handle. That concludes this first update about the new Citation 10. We're excited about all the design and maintainability improvements in the new airplane, and we're eager for the airplane to reach customers in the near future. Thanks for your time and attention, and be sure to catch future installments in the series.